Hi everyone, so we're in my kitchen and I thought I'd do a quick video on what's in my medicine cabinet. Um, I actually have two medicine cabinets. One is just a regular cabinet in the bathroom that I just use. Well, actually I don't use it. I have stuff, old medications in there, but I don't use it. On a daily basis, what I do is use one of my kitchen cabinets. So we're just going to go through that. sure you can see it's kind of hard to film this and to look through the cabinet at the same time especially when you have Parkinson's <laughs> so it might be a little shaky okay so this is where I keep stuff that I really need so this, these are the tins that I use to put my medication in I just did a separate video on that for you guys to see how I do that and these are my current meds so I have um, this one, I know you can't read the labels, but um, this one is Sabalta, and my um, doctor, neurologist, gave me that for pain, um, and it does help with depression too, but she mainly gave me for pain. And then um, this is my cinnamon that I keep and use every day. This is just like a hormone and another bottle of that and then this is the amancidine the red ones and then i have i collect a whole bottles of cinnamon like any extra cinnamon sorry i keep putting the camera down i collect the extras i don't know but i'm kind of always panicky and thinking that i should keep the extras just in case something happened in case I get the wrong manufacturer or they run out for some reason. And I have extras at, because um, they give me extras because I was having a hard time certain times of the month so with the medicine not working. But um, I'm starting not to use the extras as, as much because although it helps having a little extra pill, it kind of throws me off sometimes and I get dyskinesia. I also keep the, ex the old extra pills because I've noticed, and I made a video on this, that um, some manufacturers make the same cinnamon, but it doesn't work as effectively on me. So, again, I don't know if you can see this, but I actually label things. Um, this one says good, meaning that the pills worked, and then there's a couple that say bad. And then I have old medications. This one I should move up to the, but this was Selegiline. And um, I believe that works really well for people, but it did not work for me. It just made me no, very nauseous. And I generally get nauseous on every medication, uh, except the Cinemet. That didn't really make me nauseous, but the um, that one made me nauseous for like two months. And I was like, um, getting lightheaded and passing out of the gym and just felt like I had like morning sickness like that kind of nausea where you throw up okay I'm gonna try to get to the second shelf and I have my little step stool so on the second shelf I don't really use that those uh, well I don't use much on the second shelf because I can't reach it and that's one thing if you go to an occupational therapist they'll tell you to move everything like that top row is really not accessible I really should move that and that they um, say to move every everything where we can reach without getting on a step stool because the step stool as you guys know is a challenge when you have Parkinson's and not that safe but I just have like a, a little one that I got out the garden actually okay that works So, on this row, I have vitamins, and I have a few vitamins that are good for Parkinson's, but I don't really use them as much, and that's because I find when I use a vitamin, my medication doesn't work good. So, this is one thing, I had a, like a multi, um, multivitamin, that didn't work good, I didn't know why, um, 
that my doctor at the time didn't know why, but I discovered it's because it has iron in it. And that kind of interferes with the cinnamon. So I have that. I have vitamin D. I do use vitamin D um, currently because um, I really need it in the winter. I think that I had a really low count and I think most people with Parkinson's have a really low count. So in the winter I supplement with vitamin D especially since I'm in Portland, Oregon and, I, and we don't get a lot of light. Fish oil. That's real good when I was using it. Another thing is the price. Like, fish oil isn't really expensive, but when you keep adding like things, it gets expensive. So, um, I try to, I should try to um, supplement, not supplement, but rather eat better. This is vitamin C. I think I just got that in case I have a cold. I bought B1 because I'm going to be testing that out. A lot of people are using um, B vitamins. I'm not really sure what they're using because there's different types of B, but I just grabbed this because it was cheap. Then Old Medicine. I got a whole row of this Ritery. A lot of people are starting to use that and you see a lot of ads on it. It didn't work for me, but it might work for you. Um, I got all those boxes because the, my um, neurologist gave me it to try. And what I found is that I needed a whole lot of pills to, to substitute um, the Cinemet. Like, almost twice the pills. And the pills are really large. They're like a capsule. So they're not really convenient if you take a lot of pills. Because you're going to have to take those um, in the, you know, while you're out and about, and I found that I couldn't, I have like sometimes swallowing problems, and uh, it was hard to swallow. It's really easy to swallow those little cinnamons. So I got some laxative. I got a prescription a while ago for that, but I'd rather use natural means, so I don't use that. But I keep it there just in case I need it. And then these are tinctures, which are, um, not sure if you can see that. Oh, that's a good shot right there. They are herbs. And these ones from Banyan um, are actually the Ayurveda herbs that I um, use. And I used to have a client uh, base that I would um, use the herbs to treat certain um, Ayurvedic imbalances. So this is Brahmi that's used for depression. This is Mucuna, which, let me show you that, because that's getting a lot of attention. It's natural levodopa, and I'm actually going to be trying that, so I'm going to put that out here. But again, these are things that I either used at one time or um, a leftover for when I um, had clients because I'm an Ayurvedic um, counselor. So this is turmeric. I love turmeric. I use, it really um, helps for pain, but the same thing, I have a problem with it um, interfering with my medication. This is Kud Ki. I'm probably saying it wrong, even though I'm a counselor. It's really hard. I'm not fluent at all in Sanskrit. Um, but this is for, if I remember why I bought it, liver. This is Tripola, which we use a lot in Ayurveda, and it's actually um, good for your digestion and a lot milder than a laxative. It's not It's not quite a laxative, but that is pretty much why we use it. We also use it for diet. And then I have some tinctures from a friend, a naturopath friend that I have, and he made these. And I probably need to give them back to him. Then I have my ginger tea. And I just have like a patch. Ooh, I'm getting tired of holding. 
Okay, so the top shelf. Oh, this is going to be hard to film. I'll have to go through it quickly. So there's, um, I have powders and herbs up here. So I have the Tripoli, which is for the digestion. And these are, I'm going through these, what I have, but I don't necessarily use these. Again, I might have used them at one time, but these are more things that I had left over for my clients. Frankincense powder. Ashaganda. A lot of people use that. Um, Chinese medicine also uses that now. And that's good for Parkinson's. This is the Capacucci powder, which is better known as the Macuna prurings. That is the um, natural levodoper. I'm going to be starting that and doing a whole month um, trial of this in the next few days. So look out for that video. I wish I could put this somewhere in here. Sorry, let me just adjust this camera. Oh, okay, <laughs> my neck's getting tired. Can't see it. Okay, this is Barney, used for depression and it's good for Parkinson's. Some rose petals. I also used to make products, so I have stuff like that. Mullen leaf, and I've totally forgotten what that's used for. But I have a lot of it. <laughs> Licorice root, that's good for depression too, but you have to be careful using that. And my mind is blank on the skull cap. But that's used in um, traditional medicine also. Okay, so I just had a Parkinson's moment. Can't remember what these things are used for, but it'll come back to me. So that's it. That's a quick look at my... I call it my Parkinson's medicine cabinet. And like I said, I have another one in the bathroom and that just holds like my pet medication and old medication um, that I did use, like stuff from the dentist. Um, other than that, that's all I use. I, I'm pretty healthy other than um, the Parkinson's. Okay, see you guys next.